one that's ever caught was right by that fence line. That's why I encourage people with children, keep them away from that fence. The fence lines are their favorite spots oh. because they are protected there, the food's there, and they feel comfortable there. Hmm. So please keep your kids away from these high grass and these fences. Don't let them, don't sit on the fence because they're right underneath. I caught this one under the fence and there's another one under the fence. There's two. Hmm. So after I let this one go, I'll, I'll get the other one too. And I'll take her, take her further back up there. Hmm. You can get, yeah, you can get there's in there. There's a headshot. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sure, she's not going to go any further than this. She's, she's calmed down quite a bit. When I first picked her up, she was really going off, but now she's uh, relaxed, and that's what I want. I don't want her to rattle. I don't want her to be stressed. I want to be able to make my observations and uh, not stress out the snake too much. So what are you looking for? I'm an amateur herpetologist, so I study snakes. So I'm looking for scars, I'm looking for mites, I'm looking for uh, parasites. I'm looking at the general health, male, female, uh, the time of day, the temperature, all these things, weight, does she look good? Does she have a lot of weight on her? She, she's not, she's in really good health. Let's get her out of the direct sunlight here. So uh, hmm. after I do all that, plus I photograph there too, I have my own camera, hmm. I will let her go. And I'll try to put her in a spot that's not as dangerous as these fence lines. Hmm.